Hello everyone, welcome back to the Let's Play Kingdom Hearts uh, Saga of Darkness for Kingdom Hearts 3. <sighs> I gotta find a better way of saying that. Um, off screen, I did do a little bit of level grinding, not a whole hell of a lot because I didn't have a lot of t space to do it in. But, I did do a bit of exploration out here. I wanted to stop by a specific spot and show you how to get uh, fluorite and mithril materials, which you can find here in the Starry Skies. Whatever this place is called. Um, yeah, Star, uh, Starlight Highway, sorry. So, while you're flying around, you may come across these glowing bricks. If you attack them, sometimes they'll give you uh, gummy bits. These are basically gummy uh, materials, or gummy spots. Um, inside of them will be also mithril, or in this case, it was world floral. So it's just a good way to get some grinding done. Uh, you can also attack those crystals there. For a, a few materials. Sorry. <laughs> get rid of these things. As well. Uh, there are orange crystals, as well, or purple crystals I should say, as well. They will also give you... Um, Blueprint pieces, um, fragments, 50 in this area, and it'll give you a special gummy ship blueprint. Um, there's also a series of stars that uh, form a constellation that give you hidden ones. Also, have a guide up look on how to find those. Um, going to them and taking a picture of them when you have access to the gummy bones camera ability will give you uh, them give you a special blueprint as well based off that constellation. Just as a uh, heads up. Boing. Alright, I recognize that tower. Level 10, oof. It's going to be a bit tough since I'm like around level 8. Enzo would make a test post on Twitter. I love the hashtags. They make me laugh sometimes. Like, you can tell a lot about a character based off uh, their hashtags. I really wish they would release a patch that fixes this freaking load time. We forgot to fill Master Yen Sid in on what happened. Should we go back? Hmm. You mean about Maleficent and Zigbar? No. The others have already got enough on their plates as it is. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? Yeah, of but doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? The black fox? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. I don't know. Oh, cool. The trams are still here. Feels like it. Maybe you're feeling what Roxas feels because he misses home. Mm-hmm. Actually, I ran into Roxas in the Sleeping Worlds. It was like... Seeing into his heart for the first time. Uh huh. It was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt that you carry inside. Was I ready? I do know hurt. When I lost Riku and Kairi, and later when I lost the Keyblade. And you guys had to go on without me like that? Having no one to turn to was the worst kind of hurt. But that just shows how much you mean to me. Carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. 
Hurting is part of caring. Of course, any Sora is still Sora. So wait, if Roxas feels something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm going to find you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So now we have the links. Um, yeah, link requires full MP gauge. They reduce your MP to zero in exchange. Your friend will summon to help you. Uh, your, the friend you summon will restore your MP to HP. Well, that's cool. I don't know about that part. So yeah, we can summon Frumpkin. Come on, Frumpkin! Rumpkin! Whoop! Bam! Let's frump all over them! Aw, I missed. His whole shtick is uh, ground pounding and getting bigger and bigger. But if you miss, uh, he deflates. Good because the bigger he gets, the wider his uh, attack range is. <laughs> All the other Dream Eaters. I love it. Whoa, hi. I was going to go heal, but okay. Alright, so now we know that uh, Summoning Frumpkin also uh, uh, heals us. I didn't know that. I didn't remember that. Um, I did level up uh, the Kingdom Key a fair bit to the point where it's at its current max. It's not, you know, fully maxed out, but it's at it's at the best where it can be until a bit later on. Oh, come on, Sora. Which is why it's actually doing pretty good. Um, I do love this ability to uh, power up the Keyblade a bit. It makes uh, all the Keyblades viable. What? No way. I really hate these snipers. Alright, so now I know to, uh, hunt those snipers down with a vengeance. Oh, the pirate ship. That'd be useful. So I make sure to pop it in before the thing runs out. Come on. I also did buy Donald Goofy some new, uh, gear. Let's go. Nice little crowded area for this. Fuck you and your sniper bullshit. The only reason why I'm so high level is because I keep dying. Ooh, a defense increase. I need that. I should have gone for a defense... Uh, starting build. God damn it. Hmm. What was that voice? I know I heard it. I didn't hear it. You sure it wasn't the wind? Or something else? I'm pretty sure. Where'd they come huh? from? Get the ice cream later. Huh? <laughs> what? Hold up. See? Voices. New ones? <laughs> the what? Painter? Pence! Olette! <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> hey! Sora! Hello! Goodbye! Uh, oh. <laughs> Go! We got this!
Like I said, Nomura has a thing for the Demon Tide. Oh boy. Come on. What does suck is this thing can phase through the ground and the walls, so it's really hard to uh get a good lock on. If I get my shield, I, I might be able to do, uh, do some shit. Jeez. Okay. Okay. This thing is a nasty thing. To be fair, it is. Look at its HP. Fortunately, we don't have to kill it. Uh, we're just repelling it. Which is, just, you know, deal X amount of damage. Which is not its full HP bar. This thing is technically like a rod level 30 enemy. Oh boy. Woo. Oh no, it's coming for me. Come here, you. I think I just double tapped. Prop kid, need your help. Come on, you piece of garbage. Come here, you. Taste my frump. Got a little frumpkin. All right. Yeah, I actually double tap my potions. Fuck. That'll do. All right, knocking block. Let's go Captain America on his ass! Oh, I hate this thing. When do you find him as Sora? Nice fighting. Thanks, Sora. Painter, Pence, Olette, it's been ages. What? It hasn't been that long. Yes, me. Donald, Goofy, how are ya? We're good. Howdy there, Olette. So does this mean that weird stuff's going down again? Are you kidding, uh. Pence? When have we ever seen a tornado of shadowy blobs before? It's not weird. This is unprecedented. Hmm, I guess it is. The creatures from the last time were bright white. These things must be new. Man, I can't wait to get to sleuthing. We're already done with the school project, silly. Whatever's going on, you wouldn't be here unless you had a good reason. Which is? Well, actually, we're looking for Roxas. Roxas? That's funny. I don't know any Roxas, mm. but the name sounds familiar. Maybe we bumped into him somewhere. Uh, that's one way to put it. Actually, he might have been friends with another version of you. Hmm? This photograph. Yeah, we've got the same one. Oh, yeah, the other Twilight Town. It's like one of those spot the differences puzzles, except really easy. I guess in that town, we're friends with this Roxas person. 
Sora, let us help you track Roxas down. <laughs> really? Sure, he seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Great, then let's all go ask around town. If alternate us knew Roxas, then maybe alternate other folks did too. Mm -hmm. Sora, you three should go to the place in the photo. It's the old mansion. The three of us will cover places in town. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I got this phone thingy that takes pictures. <laughs> Want to snap a photo while we're all here? Sure. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? Wait, who's taking it? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, why do I have to do it? Hey, tough luck. You drew the short straw. It's okay. Oh, I'm sitting out of the photo with you, Donald. Can you take the photograph? Everybody smile! <laughs> wow! That came out great! Oh! A lucky emblem! Lucky emblem? Oh yeah, they are huge right now. Supposedly, these things are hidden all over town. And if you get a picture of them, they'll bring you good luck. Cool! <laughs> Wait! Look, guys! Is that... You're right. I see it too. I knew it. Good luck, because they're not all this easy to find. Okay, we better start asking around. You start by checking out the old mansion. We'll catch up. Got it. My head cannon for um the. Em the lucky emblems where it's like pressed in like that is that Mickey got into a fight and was just wham right into the wall. Uh, single save data can be uh, can hold anywhere from 20 to 200 photos, depending on how many photos you are saved elsewhere. Uh, you, if you cannot save a maximum of 200 delete photos from your album, okay. Lucky emblems. So we can now take pictures of the emblems. We have to make sure it's a uh, bit like that too. Getting a certain number will also give you a prize. Well, I'll help you find the next one. Oop. Wrong button. X. There it is. He also takes selfies. Cheese. I like this. I like yeah. this mechanic. It's cute. Cheese. Ah. Oh, those ears anywhere. Oh boy! Workshop. Now we also have access to the photo missions. <laughs> Do I have anything special in here now? Nope. Oh, I can make a wind fan. I can also make a stone too. Do -do -do. Turn those in. There we go. And here we have the photo mission. Take a picture of flame and water core. That's why I mentioned to keep that one area um, clear. All you have to do is take a picture of it. And when you do, it will tell you, like, hey, you got a picture of it. Uh, you can still find flame cores over in um, Olympus, I believe. And this one you can find at that waterfall. Um, also, if you buy enough items from a Moogle, they will give you what's called a prize postcard. They are random, uh, when they get them to you at least. What you do is you come here, go to this, and you turn it in. And it'll give you a random prize. Um, one of these random prizes is the uh, Oricalcum Plus, which is used to create the ultimate keyblade. Uh, my advice is to save before turning it in, and just save scum it. You know, just uh, turn it in, don't get it, put it away, repeat. 
Uh, reload and repeat. Oh, wait. There are, uh, I also have a Lucky Emblem guide up as well, so if you want to check that out, check that out. I haven't seen a movie in ages. Give me monies. Alright. There actually is a Lucky Emblem behind this when the, uh, movie's done playing. But it's cute. Oh. Focus. Not sure what that's about. Hmm. Let's see. Wait for a second. There we go. Yeah. Uh, does it tell me how many I need? Oh, not what I wanted. It does tell you how many there are. And shows you the picture you took. But it doesn't tell you what you get for certain prizes. I do know that uh, completing them all on uh, is one of the requirements to unlock the uh, secret ending. Oh yeah, they finally fixed the wall here, too. One of my favorite little side things in this game is... If you just run up to a wall, but don't run up it, like this, you just do a backflip. It's such a little thing, but I like it. Alright! I think I can actually upgrade my, uh, heart key. Let me do that right quick. Uh, key blade forge. Yeah, see, there it is. Uh, leveling it up enough times will also... I need more, one more, while speaking this chart. Will, um, unlock special abilities for the keyblade as well. Like, so this one gives me form change extender. I think I have to upgrade it next. Is that his base thing now? Yeah, I need to unlock it first. Alright. I'm going to just start from now on uh, using only the keyblades we have access to. Storyline-wise. DLC ones don't really give us much of anything. Uh, my advice is well involving keyblade upgrades. Upgrade them all if you can. Upgrading your favorite ones first. Um, this is because... Um, as you get new Keyblades, based on the overall uh, level of your Keyblades uh, that's been upgraded, uh, new, the new Keyblade will also be around that level as well. Um, if you have every single Keyblade maxed, like fully leveled out, um, and you get a new Keyblade, it will be max level as well. Or close to. It is useful. Fine. Hello. By the way, I did get the um, hero's belt for turning in all the golden hearts. You, they're all. There are five of them, and they're all inside of um, Thebes. So you don't have to climb the mountain to find them. But every world also has hidden Mickeys, too. Or Lucky M, I'm sorry. Alright, um... That was cl Let's see. Nice! Oh. Can I? I can! Cheese! <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Heartless! 
What do you think they're up to? Hmm. Look, on that branch, the Heartless have him surrounded. Oh, no. What a charm. Yeah. I love Remy. Let's go. Uh, what do you know about that since freaking, um, what you call it? Uh, Deep Jungle, so yeah. This is one of my favorite, um, uh, things. Traction rides. Basically, we're drawing a trail. I recommend doing as much jumps as you can. Because when you finish, each jump becomes a splash. Woohoo! So good. Well, maybe not, but it's a good way to just get around. Alright. Captain America, motherfucker! It's over. God, I love this Keyblade. It's so crap until later on, but it's so nice. Late game, this Keyblade's not that great, but mid uh, early game, it's so nice. Well, take care. on your head huh would you cut that up oh you know maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him mm. okay that's fine but I can do it by myself I just need to collect the fruit Right then. So, what are you going to do with all this anyway? Huh? Hmm? Oh. Well, okay. You be careful going home. See you around. I really like Ratatouille. It's a, it's a nice, it's a cute little movie. Alright, let's do this. I want to see if there's anything special when I upgrade uh, this. Nope, it's still the chariot. Alright, cool. I do know that there are some multiple, some keylights have multiple forms. There's actually two keyblades I'm thinking of uh, in particular that are that way. Yeah. Oh boy. In case you haven't gathered it yet, um, the fruit, the fruit we've been gathering, yeah. Kind of tied with uh, some things. Come on. Oh boy. Whoa. Fucking ass hat. Where'd you go? There you are. Nope, that's something different. Then do it. Eat the goof. Come on. 
charge. Two charge. Now go for three. One more. Punch, 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 punch. That's what happens when you get a full charge. There's only two charges, so. Whee! Okay. Now can I finally climb this thing? Ooh, navy boost, nice. <sighs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. This actually is a good spot to level grind early on. I may do that uh, off screen. Because it has a save point here for quick HP, I can leave the world, come back in, enemies respawn, just run around the forest. Get some money. Parsley. Got something, I don't know what. What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for the horn attack. Oh, what? Did I scare you? Bad. So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope, afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep, this old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. Here we go. Password was uh sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us. We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Well, huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any slug. Uh, oh, and what, you do? <laughs> I know I haven't got a clue. <laughs> then, uh, who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. 
I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so I can't uh... run it. Which program? Uh, the transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh, it's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm -hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. <clears throat> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas' full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh... Basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly. And we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh, no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pence. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so while that was going on, while we're doing this, um, I looked it up a bit. And last set, how many defense boosts I got? Um, I mentioned the uh, fantastic uh, uh, flans. What's next? Uh, actually, I can show you them now. There is. Where is it? Uh, the Fantastic Seven. There are only seven of them, but there are more than seven worlds in this game. Um, so I was wrong on the the fact that every world has one. Where is? It's under everyone else. 
How do I take the monster compen- uh, the heartless compendium? I don't remember how to do it. I did a few minutes ago. Huh. Adversaries. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, these guys. There's ones with different uh, fruits for each of them, so. But I did manage to get that one. <laughs> Adversaries. I was looking for heartless, not a fancy word like adversary. Let's go. So, you think you can bring Roxas back? Oh. Oh. Handsome. Oh. Samness. Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just Data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Handsome and Zemnis used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Uh. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you tell them to me. <laughs> In that case, by all means. Nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again. Still so blind. A nobody is what's left behind when one gives his heart to darkness. There is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. Now, set your heart free. Wait! Sora! It's not darkness. Not if it helps him. You know, apart from their grandstanding, they do have a point. Uh, Sora, or Roxas's heart inside Sora, if he tries to leave, he's just a floating heart. If it stays that way, the Heartless are going to claim it. That's simple. The only way for Sora, for Roxas to exist is because, is if they have a, a, a shell for him to exist in. The only reason why Xemnas and Xehanort are able to survive uh, separately, or Ansem and Xemnas are able to se uh, survive separately it's because one's a heartless, one's a nobody. One's the sh one's the the body, the other is the freaking heart wrapped in darkness. So yeah, they kind of have a point despite despite being asshats. Oh wait. Yeah, get closer. I I'll, I'll, I'll appreciate it. Thank you. Rumpkin. Yeah. Oh, eat it. Oh, -ho! eat my frump. Eat it. Match gonna be used this a lot more often than I did in my first playthrough. Eat the frump. 
<laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, suck it. What if Tia's in there? I love Tia. I miss her. Oh, shit, that's right. I now have freaking Cure. I can switch out with my potions. Uh, customize, yeah. Cure, there we go. Now I can heal. I completely forgot I had Cure. Why am I using potions still? Defeating the uh, demon died, um, unlocked it. It's gonna take a, f a fuck ton and a half to get Kiraga, but... Not what I wanted to do, but hey. Come on, charge up. Ooh, boop. It still uses all my uh, charge, to, all my MP to use it, but uh, it is nice to have Cure. Because he also heals everyone with a certain range. I love the design of Neo Shadow. That's so cool. Alright, full charge. Eat my smite. Eat it. Blue fusion spin, nice. Back ahead. Oh boy, I got stuck in the corner. I was trying to get out, but I got stuck. I'm not changing difficulty. I don't think I can anymore. Water. I really gotta get some Mephi Hastes. Come on. What is up? Take it all, I'll take it all. Ooh. Do it. Let's go. Just keep it going. Crush the motherfucker. Here we go. Thanks, Donald, for healing me at the last second. I appreciate it. As I threw a potion up and wasted it. Herc said, he said, with all my heart, okay, then all my heart it is, I'm getting Roxas out, are you with me, Donald, Goofy, <laughs> you I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay, then.
Let's head back to town. <laughs> Donald. I love you, but you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just getting out of here for now. I'll come back and kill y'all once I'm at once I'm coming back for the other stuff. Let's go. Oh. Come on, keep it going, Donald or Sora. This ricochet is so... It's still, it's similar to Bur the Dream Drop. Based off appearances, but it still feels weird when you try it. Well, bless oh. my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued my <laughs> chef. I can't ask those. Huh? Wait. Didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Why would you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. What is it? Wow! wow cake! cake. Huh? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town. Aye. It all started a little while ago when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients. Especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kinda like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. I would love to have that tart. Oh. So basically, <coughs> uh, all the ingredients we've been finding, as well as those sour cherries, can be used at Little Chef's Bistro. They will give us uh, the ability to create certain foods. Um, getting enough of them will actually unlock uh, buffs for us. Or eating, or eating them, I should say, will unlock buffs for us. Now, they're usually pretty easy to find. They'll always be inside things that will have food, like chef needs more a, bas a, bas uh, bas uh, a basket of fruit, um, Chinese takeout, well, I'm um, to get <laughs> uh, ingredients like mushrooms, fish, things like that. Yeah. Hope we find some ingredients around here. Now, the only downside to this whole thing is, uh, Donald and Goofy will say every so often, like, not every so often, like, fairly often, 
I bet we can find some food around here, or some ingredients for a little chef around here, or something along those lines. Just imagine the yummy stuff. And it gets annoying real quick. Chocolate. Here we go. Hey, boss. Uh, Down with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You download this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Gorsh, he sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same, and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case, We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. Ominous. Now, the Classic Kingdom, I also have a guide on how to find all of them, if you want to check it out. Shooting star. Nice. Uh, shooting star. Uh, do, 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 do. We transport changed into the projectile weapon called the double arrow guns. I think this is one of the ones that have the triple form. That or we need to upgrade the keyblade to the point where we can do it. The current bonus is press triangle on the main menu. Here we can see the, the bonuses we get. Uh, Koopa coins are basically continue, which I'm going to have to get. Uh, shooting star, double arrow gun. Yeah, this uh, this one has multiple forms. You can see it there. This one's um. Doo -doo -doo. It says there the only form change it has is counter shield. However, this has the double arrow guns and the magic launcher. 
this will allow us to um, upgrade the or change the form twice. Um, both have their own strengths and weaknesses. Double arrow guns is very quick and has uh, locking on stuff. The magic launcher is a bit slower but does more damage. Because I knew there was uh, something like that. You're Goofy, you're Donald, cool. Uh, disable recharging when MP runs out. Only cure magic and link commands will trigger a recharge. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, for more difficulty? Nah, fuck that noise. Team attack extender, extensive availability period. That's useful. Sora. Get all that. I'll worry about that later. Uh, every so often, you'll ha we'll find more of these here. Um, finishing all of these unlocks a unique Keyblade as well. Let's try it out. Yeah, let's try it. Um, all you need to do to unlock the Keyblade is very simple. Just uh, get a point and then die. And uh, you'll lose, quote unquote. I'll demonstrate it. So, yeah, it it's like those old classic games. That you can find at like every gas station from ages ago. Oh, gotta wait. You win one, get one point, and then just die three times. And then exit. When you have that Mickey mark, that means you've uh, gotten your score. And uh, do it for all of them, and you get the Keyblade. That simple. As f Ooh, let's do this real quick. Workshop, turn those in. New photo missions. Take a picture of the statue of Hercules and Thebes. We'll find that later. Not Damascus doesn't really matter. Um, I think I'm gonna keep my fluoride for now because the next location we go to actually has a better keyblade, and I want to master that out first. I can now buy pulsing shards. Nice. I have one of those for so uh, uh, Goofy already. Plus one. Postcard. Goofy. I like having a, the, the whole set of everything. Better put this in the mail. Later. Yeah. Now, yeah. on to the bistro to show it off before we, we finish this. Some ingredients. Yes, I love this mini game. It's so stupid, so simple, but I love it. Test post. X organization. Zexion the sixth. Radiation gar radi uh, radiation. Radiant garden. Cracking the code. Is the food ready yet? Huh? Hmm? He hasn't started? Huh? Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hey, hey. Oh, no! Oh, whoa! Would you... Uh, you're gonna make me cook? That plays only the first time you come here. The special menu has been unlocked. So here we have the stuff that we can make. Um, only the bold and stuff we can actually make. Uh, this is where we get stuff for, uh... The, um, uh... Special fruits, not special fruits. Yeah, the special stuff. Like the sour cherry. I believe this, the dessert, 
is um the fruit tart we made or he made. All right, so each of these recommend or show how it is to prepare it. Uh, this requires an egg to be cracked, a flambe, chopping. Each are their own unique or uh, unique in their own way. This is actually very simple. When you chop the ingredients, all you need to do is rapidly tap the left analog stick. Once I finish it, press down on the right. You get excellent, and you get a special upgraded version of it. For this, you just need to do it as quick as possible. A three-star consomme. Ooh, it looks really good, too. Consomme plus. Sorry. Um, you want to get that best possible mark for it as possible. This may be a little difficult with my controller because it's a bit busted. Uh, all right, crack an egg. Let's make one of these. For this, you just need to slowly pull your uh, left and right analog stick apart, and once it has been cracked to the point where you see the uh, purple swirls, press L1 R1 at the same time. You want the best one possibly, possible. Yeah. Nice. There we go. All right, we did it. And we get ooh chocolate mousse. Um, I'm gonna say this real quickly. I apologize for any of the French I say. I am a English American dog. I do not know how to speak French. <laughs> Desserts, Viendis? I don't know what that is. This is Flambe. Uh, so basically we need to uh, tilt the analog stick to pour in, hold on, tilt left uh, in a circle, so rotate your left analog stick, just the right amount and then press down to uh, Flambe it. I messed that up. Right. I still got it, but I don't know how I did it. We did it. Sweet bread po poele. Poele? I don't know. And this is just a timing thing. Uh, alternate between left and right with the down on the left or right D-pad, or uh, thing, and we're just sort of juggling it, and you get timing right. Huh. Perfect. Last second, though. All right. We did it. Sol Muyene? I don't know. Doing it enough times gives us a star for the bistro. Our whole goal, our goal is to become a five-star bistro. Ha! My bistro's future is looking bright. The new recipes are a smash. Those ingredients of yours must really have got little chef's gears a turning. Soon we'll be chasing customers away. Keep up the good work. <laughs> we try, right, little chef? <laughs> Each star will give us a uh, accessory or a gift that has something to do with the food. All right. Oh, looks so good. Cherries, uh, uh, strawberries, some blackberries, kiwi, I think. Uh, and it looks like orange and maybe apple. The gourmet ring, or gourmand ring, gourmet ring, how you pronounce it. Uh, grant a slight boost to strength, magic, and maximum HP, as well as giving us the abilities Harvester, pick up an extra ingredient whenever we gather something, and earn an excellent rating more easily when cooking with Little Chef. So that's really good to have equipped. Alright. So we're going to leave, there's going to be a long, annoying cutscene, and then we're going to call it. 
We can also use the Bistro at any save point. So we don't ever have to come back to Twilight Town if we need to cook. What is nice is every time you cook something, it should appear for sale in a shop later on. So you can just buy it. Uh, instead of just cooking, having to cook it all the time. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yen Sid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before. And some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy. But I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. <gasps> What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah. But it's okay. I just like talking to Sora. Even if it's on paper. Huh. Okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah. I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know. We did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? No, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Oh. 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 Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. 
Fine. On one condition. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam when Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yep. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay, but Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels! He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yup! And Merlin too! Yeah. All right, so. Uh, game shop purchase. Uh, so I can now open the game shop now too. Cool. All right, so that is gonna be it for this set. I, ooh, I can just buy some game shop straight out the gate. Cool. Uh, that's gonna be it for this set. I hope you get. Aw, sorry, got distracted. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this set. I'll see you guys next time. We will continue from here. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of level grinding if I can back in Twilight Town. Um, and maybe see if I can make some more stuff. My ultimate goal is going to be uh, to be a little bit higher level, as well as to have all of the available. Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna head over to uh, Olympus. Have all of the available um, lucky marks unlocked. So we should have a decent level, and we should have de some decent gear by the time next set starts. So hopefully, I'm not dying every five seconds. So. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye!